Hello everybody. Here's today's project. Actually goes like that. This is the flight engineer's prop pitch control board. At least this area right here. I didn't read to see what goes there, but there's a lever. I have to cut a slot, which I'm always excited about doing. And these are switches and circuit breakers, which I was interested in this because there's a piece of plexiglass that mounts over this. It's got triangular holes because there's six three-way prop pitch switches. I just saw one that sold on eBay for $217. So $1,300 later, I might have those. <laughs> Most likely they're just gonna be standard switches. I got up this morning uh, wanting to build this. Initially, I decided I was gonna build it out of steel, but I decided, you know, $30 worth of flux core for, you know, a few tacks up here. I figured just go ahead and make it out of aluminum. Plus, I really don't have a big surplus of steel right now. I had it out here just to show you what went, what went on. It's held in by five rivets. I need to get some squash rivets for applications like this because countersink, um, flush, pop rivets, they'll work, but you know, I can do better especially on such a prominent piece that this is going to be in. This is going to be the table, which we'll go up there and pop it in there and I'll show you what it does. Just want to say hello to my new subscribers and everything. Welcome to the show. Thanks for all your comments and your watching my videos and taking your friends hostage and forcing them to watch my videos all that fun stuff makes my day but what doesn't make my day is crawling it in up and out of this thing every time i do when i first started doing this people asked me how you get into this thing and uh really soon i'm gonna have that all cased in so i don't hit my head and hit my back and catch my clothes on that bulkhead so be nice probably get this Floor framed in too. But as you can see, we've got all the provisions. I still have to make this should have been ramped, but it's okay. I'll ramp it. There's a mounting bracket down there. So it goes in just like that. And then that hooks under there. And that needs to go down just a hair. That's pretty much in there. This is a lot of work. This took me, what time is it now? About eight? Took me 10 hours to make this. That drops down on there perfectly. This is actually, a big part of this was studying how it mounted from up underneath the table. I know that these are mounting points here and these are actually going to have to have a shelf like like that and then one over here because there's going to be a big plate with circuit breakers that goes like so that's cake um on the other side it's essentially the same thing except this isn't here well this would go out to about there and then this instead of being level with it'll it actually be this level and so it'll drop down it'd be shelved right there and then right there will be, I'm probably confusing you if you're even following me, but right there will be the big indicator for the engine analyzer. But it's nice. This is gonna be a circuit breaker and this panel, there's gonna be like these, these little holes for the mounting holes right there and it sits level with that so that's how i knew exactly where it needed to be based on my pictures it's level and everything but that's it that that was uh, a lot of work oh last night i went ahead and installed this mounting base for 
the box. It's about eight inches by three inches by six inches, I think. But this is the box that is the junction box for the turbocharger. Um, can't think of what it's called. TBS, turbocharger, whatever, selector. Turbocharger selector panel. So it's here, and then the wires go into here, and then it goes down there, and all mess of stuff. But that box will hang down. It'll hang down just a little bit. Like he's only about two and a half, three inches tall. But I gotta make that box. I'll make it look as realistic as possible, unless I find one. Made by Honeywell. I don't have my hopes up. Um, tomorrow, my goal is to build this guy over here. Um, now that I've got this initial fear out of my way of being able to do this without giving myself a, a heart attack or something, going into a nervous breakdown, we can do this over here. And like I said, it's essentially the same, goes out to there, shelves down, level with this, and there's a big circle, which I will have to do welded steel for that. I don't think I'll be able to shape it, but we'll see. Um, big, big welded casting for this, kind of like in that shape, ramp down, really hard to explain. I, I haven't researched it enough. Um, this actually will slide under this frame and then attach in the back. So it'll lay flush and then plop down under here and then fasteners, like quarter turn fasteners, I think. We'll see. But I'll get that built. I'll have to get on a steel to make it for sure. Just get me some flux core and I'll be good to go. And then lots of holes. I think I've already mentioned that I have to make this doohickey, which is kind of, it goes flush and then down, across, up, and then curves all the way around and catches the base of the frame where there'll be big quarter turn fasteners. I'd say about every six inches, we'll hold that on there. That'll be nice to get that in there. That's painted green. And you'll just see, I have to make this entire strip again minus the holes for the circuit breakers and just these holes will you'll see the heads for the breakers and on this there's all the labels to what these circuit breakers do that's just more fun than a barrel of monkeys like i said building a b36 ain't nothing but drilling holes huh. i guess i'll see y'all next time well i know i'll see y'all next time